<laughs> Honey Heart C. Hello, mini fans. We're gonna be hanging out in Miss Fall. Ooh, how about we check out Kit's Cuddle Cottage? <gasps> Are these not the cutest little things? These little tiny foxes? Oh, no way, you guys. Look at how cute they are. It's sitting on the bench. Oh, and this one's running around. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, 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 I love the foxes. This one's sitting in its little house. And this one's running around and around and around. Hello. This is Kit's Cuddle Cottage. Step right up and meet my team of professional cuddlers. Aren't they sweet? They are mist foxes, a special breed that only exists here in mist fall. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they were tamed by farmers to keep their crop safe from mice and birds. Somebody would like to order one of these adorable little snuggle bugs. Do you mind delivering one of them? Take this transport crate and give it to her. When the cuddle session is done, bring Miss Paws right back here for your reward. Oh, cute. So somebody here in town actually wants to cuddle with one of these adorable mist fall foxes. Oh, look at she's feeling blue. She won't feel blue once I give her this. <gasps> A mist fox. Here you go, cuddle it, and it will love you forever. Oh, so soft, warm, and fluffy. Oh. Oh, she's happy. She's dancing around with the Miss Fox. Thank you. I was feeling homesick and sad, but now I'm all better. I think I just have too many foxes living with me here. They just keep showing up. Every morning when I wake up, there's at least four more. There's Miss Foxes everywhere. So the only thing I can do is just give them up for adoption. So you can actually buy them. These are absolutely adorable. There's the red one, bronze, an ash color, and the snow fox. They do cost star coins, but wow, are they absolutely pretty. Precious. Totally cute. Let's talk to Violet. I'm Violet. I am a wildfire biologist for the rangers. That means I'm in charge of surveying wildfire or to track the overall health of their populations, as well as making sure that when humans and wildlife share the same spaces, habitats are protected. I could use your help photographing local wildlife. Nutkins! Where did you go to this time? Nutkins is my horse. He's as sweet as candy, but he has a tendency to wander off. Can you look around for Nutkins, please? And bring me back the camera he's carrying? So Nutkins is around here somewhere. What a silly name for a horse. It reminds me of Shopkins. Nutkins, is that you? Nope, that's not him. Where could that silly horse be? Nutkins, is that you? Here he is, what is he doing? He's just hanging out right here. Where's his bride a lot? Well, I found him, but here's your camera. I took it out of the camera bag. Take my camera and photograph one of the rabbits. Okay, I can easily do that. Very happy to. I don't mind taking pictures of adorable animals. Let's see if we can find one around here. Oh, there's a rabbit right here. All right, perfect, great picture. Welcome to the Rangers, volunteer. Oh, she gave me a backpack. Yes, check it out, look at the backpack. Oh, she's got a cute little bunny in her bag. All right, now we're gonna take a picture of a hedgehog. I also need three photographs of the local squirrels and their natural habitat. Squirrels and hedgehogs, easy, I can do that. Here's a little squirrel. That's one, two, and three. Ah, where is it? Ooh, here's a little hedgehog right here we can take a picture of. One, two, Oh, there's one running, there's one running. Three. Thank you. All right, let's see what else I can help Violet with today. Miss Fall is home to several species of frogs. Today, I'm interested in documenting just one. Take my camera and document three frogs in their natural habitat. We can easily do that. I'm sure they're gonna be hanging down by the water. Ah, the squirrel's running. Oh, here's a frog right here. Got it. Oh, it's so cute. What a super duper cute little green frog. All right, we need two more pictures. Oh, there's another one over here. Perfect, right by the flowers. Ah, it's running. Oh, there's another one by the bridge. Got it, and one more. All right, I got three pictures of the frog. These are some healthy looking frogs, thank you. So let's talk with Alonso. I'm the trail guide for the Yorvik Rangers and I'm head over heels about horses. I've always been, even before joining the Rangers. If you're interested in learning more about responsible trail riding, I'd be happy to show you the ropes. You wanna learn more? Let's start with a short ride to one of my favorite spots in the park, Berry Hill. All right, here we go, we're going on a little trail ride. This is so beautiful here. So where are we going? Berry Hill. Isn't this just amazing? Berry Hill, beautiful, isn't it? I like to come up here for a little quiet time. Berries are quite abundant around here in Miss Falls. Foraging and grazing can be fun, not to mention tasty. A way to engage with our parks. They must be done responsibly. Oh, there he goes. The trail ride continues. We're gonna head on up to the ranger station. Oh, there they go, they're going faster. Woo, this is a pretty cool trail too. 
All right, you handle yourself amazingly well in the saddle. Remember, one more thing about trail riding. Your horse will burn more calories than riding on level ground. Here, take a snack for Honeyheart. Oh, I got an apple. Thank you. Here you go. Here's an apple, boy. Oh, he loves it. Hey, look, we've got the same saddle. How would you feel about expanding your duties as a Yorvik Ranger volunteer? Sure. As a mounted ranger, one of the most important jobs I have here in the park is search and rescue. More often than not, when hikers get lost or injured, it's because they strayed from the marked trails. Before we begin formal training, let's see how you handle a simple orientation course I set up. I'll be timing you, but get out there and have fun. All right, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, so we gotta go over here. There's the checkpoint. Got it. There it is. Woo! Now we can ride back. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh cool, I got a shirt! It's the Sporty Yorvik Ranger shirt. That's pretty cool, thanks. Okay, that was awesome. Let's check out over here. Oh, it looks like you can actually do some shopping. So you can get a Ranger jacket. There's some pants, some gloves, a t-shirt. Oh, a cool new saddle bag and a saddle pad. So pretty awesome. Hey, Alonzo. Hey, Gata, I got a couple more challenges for you. Marty and I have set up two races. One is fairly easy and the other one is a bit trickier. We'll start with the easy one. All right, we can do it, we can do it. So far, so good. Oh, look at all of these logs. Go around here, over the bridge. Okay, jump over the falling log. Ugh. Okay, run down the hill. Jump over this. Ugh. Jump again. Here we go, doing good, doing good. Run up the hill. Does it seem extra beautiful today? It seems super pretty. Woo! There's the finish line. Woo! Right, I'm impressed with how you handled those jumps. You guys ride really well together. I think you're ready for a little more challenge. Let's see how you handle this trail race that I set up in South Miss Falls Forest. There's more sharp turns and tricky terrain, but nothing you can't handle. All right, let's see if we can do it. Okay, we gotta start running up the hill. Sharp turn around the trees. Easy, easy, very steep hill. We go down the hill, careful. Now we're gonna run right back up that steep hill and back down it. And jump. And jump again. Lots of jumps. Here we go, woo. Step on the rock. Come on, boy, we gotta go down there. Woo, jump down here. Careful, don't go off the cliff when you're over there. Woo, I think we did it. There's the finish line. Yes! Not bad, Agata. Woo, we did it! So let's go over here and we'll talk to this girl. Welcome to Miss Falls. I'm Junior Ranger Kima. If you're here to learn about the hiking and trail ride opportunities in this area, I'd be happy to help you. Oh, wait a minute, I've heard of you. You're friends with the hero of Dundle, aren't you? So cool. You're so courageous and kind. I was so worried that I'd have to clean up that GED mess all by myself. So meet me at the north shore of Miss Fall Lake and I'll drive down with the tools. Oh, there she goes. Now that GED is over, it's time to open this waterfront back up to the public. There's security fences all around the lake. Borrow my wrench and break it down. All right, we can do that. So look at all these caution signs they put up. Ah, much better. We'll load that up into the car. Perfect. There's another patch of fenced off area on the other side of the lake. Oh, there she goes. All right, let's go meet her. There she is. While you start breaking down the fence, I'll start driving to the end of the cleanup site. Oh, here we go, it's a race. Do, 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 do. Okay, got it. Put it into the van. Hurry, 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 hurry. The van is taking off. There we go, we're doing it. Hurry. Get into the car. This actually was a good idea. We're getting it done in no time. Perfect, thank you so much. I'm gonna haul this junk to the recycling center before heading back to the station. Hopefully we can meet again. I like helping out the rangers. There's my horse. He's blended in with another horse. Ooh, the fire is so warm. All right, time to do some more training. Hey, it's teamwork time again. We are getting back to nature. We're gonna be doing some trail maintenance. Meet me at the trailhead so we can clean it up. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, there she goes. All right, we can easily find this place. There she is. You made it, perfect. And you brought your work gloves. Oh, we're gonna be clearing away some of these thorns, aren't we? Yep, I can see it. There's a bridge behind that fallen tree and those thorns. All right, better hop off my horse. Whoop. Ooh, the trail's in a lot worse shape than I thought. Between the fallen trees and the overgrown thorn bushes, no one's getting through there. All right, take my chainsaw and chop down those bushes and cut through the logs. All right, let's get this trail all cleared away. That way people can start using it. Now this big log. Get my chainsaw. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Woo, we cleared the bridge. 
edge. Ah, oh, the first stretch of the trail looks amazing, but I can see that the trail has more overgrown stuff. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So let's start cutting through all this stuff. Cut, 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 cut. Load it into the truck. Use a chainsaw. Oh, there's some more bushes. And another really big tree. Woo. Oh, look at how nice this is. Oh, look, at you can have a beautiful little picnic here. And you can see all the way out to the beautiful crystal clear water. All right, it's ready for rides again. Alonzo's not gonna believe this. So let's try this trail out. I'll radio back to the station and tell Alonzo and Violet to meet us there. Ah, oh, would you look at that view? Kima, Agata, hey, I couldn't believe it when you said the trail was open. I had to see it for myself. It's perfect for bird watching. You know what would make this even better? Bungee jumping? Uh, no. <gasps> Look who's coming! It's Rania! Wow, we have our very first trail rider. Welcome. This place is so beautiful. You can see the sea, the mountains, the forest, and the sky. Thank you so much for your help, Agata, here. Or should I say Junior Ranger, Agata? Oh, <gasps> Junior Ranger! Yes, I got a ranger hat! I am so excited. I am so excited. Woo! Let's totally go on out and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful trail. So it looks like we can go on up this way. Look at this, you guys. It's so pretty. I need some mini fans to ride along with me up here. Oh, wow. Look at all these little mushrooms. It looks like maybe this is as far as it goes. Okay, this is totally cool. Woohoo! This trail is so awesome. What's going on with these people? Help, help, there's a fire. What, where? Okay, let me go get some water. Come on, spirit. Oh, <gasps> there is a fire. Oh no, there's a fire in the woods. Let's go down to the river and get some water. Here, let me use this bucket. We have to quickly put out the fire or else it's gonna burn down the whole forest. <gasps> There's some fire right here. Pour the water on it. Whew, okay, that one's out. There's another fire over here. Okay, we got that one. Here's another one. Ooh, this one's almost gonna burn the bush down. Ooh, there's another one. Whew. Okay, I think we got all of the fire. Oh, thank you so much. That could have been bad. I told my parents it wasn't a good idea to grill in the forest. You have to try to be a little bit more careful next time. You know what? We should probably help this guy so maybe next time he doesn't have a fire in the forest. So let's help him build a barbecue. He can do some grilling in the forest and that way he's completely safe. Let's see, do we have some leftover stones around here? Oh, here's some stones. And we'll use this log. All right, this will be perfect for building a little barbecue. Good thing I had my range your training. So we'll use this log. Oh, perfect. Put some rocks down. And now look at this. Look at how perfect. Now he's got like a little barbecue grill area. He can grill hot dogs and hamburgers right on the grill. All right, I got a grill all set up for you. No more forest fires. Now the fire is safe. Yeah, that was pretty irresponsible to try to grill on the ground. Tell your friends and I'll barbecue some food. All right, awesome. Can't wait to tell Alonso that I helped put out a forest fire. Hey, Alonso, guess what? There was a forest fire, but don't worry. I totally put it out and I helped this guy make a grill that is completely forest safe. Oh, that's really cool. Good job, Agata. I'm proud of you. All right, awesome. So we totally prevented forest fires, you guys. Oh, there's a festival going on. Maybe we can help out. Let's talk to Ranger Ashley. Hey, we need a bonfire to keep the party going into the night. So can you help me gather up some logs? Remember, fire is not something we rangers take lightly. One spark is all it takes to turn a forest into cinders. We're gonna do things the safe way. I already picked out the site for the bonfire. It's 80 meters from any trees or buildings. Of course we're gonna think of safety first. Oh, here are the logs right here. We'll use these. Woo, easy girl, easy. But she wants to place it right here. Isn't this a little bit close to the picnic tables? Oh, whoa, she created a giant fire pit. Let's get a couple more logs. I didn't realize the fire pit would be so big. Put them right here. That should be enough wood. Ooh, whoa, time to get this baby burning. Here we go, I got the fire stick, here we go. Okay, careful, everybody stand back, careful. And here we go. Woo! Wow, it's really burning now. Good job with the fire, it looks very safe. Let's talk to this ranger and see what she needs help with. Go ahead and climb up the pole and raise the ranger flag. Well, that horse is flying. That horse totally flew. Aw, look at all the rangers. He's got like a little hat on, a little flower hat. Cool, this festival looks awesome. Look at all the beautiful horses. Aw, everybody looks beautiful. <gasps> look at how gorgeous these horses are, you guys. Three Lusitano horses in a row. They're beautiful. Ah, look at the horse. The horse is on the table. Oh, no. All right, mini fans, I hope 
you guys enjoyed this episode of Star Stable. I cannot believe it. I am now part of the Rangers team now. This is so cool. We helped prevent a forest fire. We got to help at the festival. And I got to do lots of training and trail riding. Remember to burn away any negativity and stay absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, minis. All right, Manny fans, who remembers? How many pictures of the frogs did I have to take? Did I take one picture, two, three, or five? Five,